Hi, and welcome back to another uh, podcast here at Project Geo. I'm Mason Rothman, and uh, we're uh, here today with... I'm Scott Vandermark. Hey, Scott, and uh, what do you do exactly? Um, I'm the Executive Vice President of Sales, Marketing, and Business Development for a Wiser Company. Okay, and uh, what exactly does Wiser do, and why are they here at GeoAmp? Well, Wiser is an information technology company. Uh, we do a number of things for the government, for the DOD. In particular, uh, we provide geospatial data production services. We uh, provide analytical services, FTEs, to uh, support a number of government agencies, both here in the United States as well as abroad. And uh, we also do information technology solutions development work as well. Well, it sounds like you're pretty quite, uh, quite diverse, actually, in, uh, in all the roles that you guys fill. Uh, what do you guys do with analytics uh, specifically? Well, it's actually interesting that you say that. Today we're actually doing a product launch for a new piece of software called GeoUnity. And GeoUnity is a, is a, it explores, it's a prototype. It was designed primarily to explore the nexus of not just place, but time. So looking at data feeds such as Twitter or other types of data feeds that, that have a place associated with them, but looking at that nexus between place and time and how those, those, those factors together expose other greater pieces of information. So this is kind of a almost a multi-int uh, approach is what you're doing here. You're taking multiple things and putting them together to tell, I guess, the Paul Harvey rest of the story of what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. And in fact, we took a little bit different approach. Myself, I came from a, an, an intelligence analysis background. But what we did was we, we, we were told basically what the problem was. Here's the problem set. And we took some non-intelligence analysts, folks that had not received that kind of you know doctrinal training, to look at the problem set and then kind of come up with a different approach towards solving the problem. So GeoUnity really is a kind of that prototype is, is really grew out of that development effort to take another look, a different approach towards that problem set uh, and that problem solving. I love when I hear about these things, and this isn't the first time I've heard about this uh, at the GeoN conference, but they literally, some of these companies take and just fresh folks off the street or they'll sequester some folks off the side and say, what kind of solution will you come up with to this problem? So bravo to you guys. Uh, any other new products that you guys are showing off here at the, uh, the conference? Yeah, we're working on another product, and we're showing that today called GeoSims. Uh, GeoSims is a, a model and simulation-based uh, prototype. Uh, it was designed to be pretty much a, a GIS in the game type technology. So not just providing that 3D simula simulation look and feel, but the you know smart data, allowing you to be able to actually query some of the attributes. So a building, a building has attributes, and being able to interact with those attributes inside that simulation environment, all done within an Xbox-based simulation type uh, mode. Wow, so you actually, it, did you, are you working with some partners that have worked with Xbox, or is this kind of a fresh uh, approach? Yeah, it was a bit of a fresh approach. Uh, we had some folks within the Special Forces community that came to us and said, we need something that shows that simulation environment, but does it in a really very inexpensive, low-cost, easy-to-use platform. And for them, Xbox was, you know, everyone understands, knows Xbox, how to use Xbox. And so they asked us specifically, could you design it in, inside of that? And we did. Well, it's kind of like the approach that uh, <clears throat> a lot of other IC companies have taken with Google Earth, because everybody knows how to use Google Earth, and everybody likes to use Google Earth, so you see a lot of geo products built on top of that. Um, well, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up here, but uh, it was nice to meet you today, and thanks so much for giving us a, a short overview of what exactly you guys are uh, bringing here. And I also want to plug for these guys, they have a very strong Twitter presence, uh, at, and we've seen tons of tweets come from them today. And in fact, over at the YPG booth, I think they're number five or six uh, for the most tweets, uh, the, the company most mentioned on tweets today. So uh, once again, uh, Mason Rothman, and uh, we'll see you soon.